Hello everyone, this is King and welcome back to my video. In this video today, we will be showing you where to get the Vogel Stormwind Wings and Vogel Masks. The reason why I'm making this video today is because this game is still relatively new. So searching where monsters are located or where materials can be found can still be relatively difficult if not impossible to find. So hopefully you find today's video informative and helpful. If you did, go ahead and leave a comment and let me know what other Xenoblade Chronicles 3 videos you would like me to do. Or if you have a question, leave a comment as well and I will be sure to respond. Before I continue, I do want to let you know that I am in Chapter 6, or at least the beginning of Chapter 6. If you are not there yet, I am going to give you my first and only warning to click away. You probably most likely won't need this material until then anyways. So if you're not there yet, or you don't want to be spoiled either passively or blatantly, do so now. Alright, you have been warned. Before I continue, I do want to let you know that if you want, provide me with a follow for any other Xenoblade Chronicles 3 related content or just check out my Let's Play which is included in the description below. For Vogel Stormwind Wings and Vogel Mass, they are dropped by the same mob, which are Vogels. You can find Vogels here in the Condensia region. They are in this area right here, and also this small little strip. This is the earliest you will find them. You can teleport to the landmark Prison Camp Freight Gate. This is something you'll get along just by progressing further into the story. So there is... Well, this place isn't some place you can miss, and you'll definitely see them. So just be sure just to continue through the game, and you'll eventually find them. I believe they are in the latter half of Chapter 5, or the beginning of Chapter 6. So don't you worry, you will eventually come across them. For the Vogels, they only drop these two materials, which are the Mask and the Stormwind Wings. But they also drop a few other things. As for accessories, I've gotten the Feathered Masanga the Warped Crystal, the Silver Braided Belt, and then the Heavy Foot Protector. The best item I think so far was, is probably the Warped Crystal, which gives you a boost damage dealt by 40% per enemy defeated to a maximum of 250%, which is awesome. So I'm going to quickly favorite all of this and then we can continue onward. Okay, here we go. As for our party skills, I recommend getting the meal effect of the Machna Evergreens, which can be found or not, or gotten, in the Colony Tal Canteen. It will provide you with an enemy drop boost of 30%. Do not make the Mananas cooking recipe because that will only provide with a 20% enemy drop boost, which isn't too efficient. I'd rather just get the other 15 one with the 15% collectible. That one is probably better. So if you have time, get there, spend the money, get the enemy drop boost plus 30%, you won't regret it. If you are farming these animals, or this mob, they look like this. These little winged feathered creatures here. Can I zoom out? Thank you. Here you go. The one with the very chiseled abdominals and big giant wings. They are these things. These colorful little birds. They are pretty hard. I mean, they're not easy. They're level 51, and at the time I was fighting them, I was 57, 56. I didn't have that much of a hard time it just did it just take it did take some time i'm playing hard mode here so they have a few skills that are a few arts that are pretty devastating i'll go ahead and list what those arts are below in the description so be sure to check that out when you are farming these guys you can have or you have a few options you can either if you're wanting to reset the area because this is the only area that i found so far so what I've done was whenever I killed all of the Vogels, I would either commit mass genocide to myself. I would jump off a cliff, I would have them kill me, or I would... Yeah, just basically find whatever way you can to kill yourself. The easiest way i found is probably grabbing a mob here, getting your weakest uh, person with the least amount of HP, maybe your attacker. Here. Press up, you'll throw a rock, and you just keep on doing that with all the mobs nearby. Here, like this. Do that one last time, and then they will quickly deplete your HP. Once your HP is fully depleted, you will return to the nearest landmark, and you can resume the farming. Here is the prison camp freight gate, and you just head west from there, and they are right over here. You'll you'll see them in the view. There you go. You see that? There they are. 
and you can just continue farming them. All the mobs will reset if you do it this way. You can also go from one region and come back to this region. That will also reset it, but it does take a little bit more time. And that is it. If you enjoyed watching this video or you have found it informative, please shoot me a follow and give me a comment and let me know what other Xenoblade Chronicles 3 contents you would like me to do. And I will see you all in the next one.